Hi, Tri Cities Brew Club. This is Aaron. So this is the Counterflow Chiller that I've put together. As you can see, the JV Weld is pretty ugly, but the main idea here is that the hose water is going to come up through the half-inch copper fittings, swirl around and around and around and up, and then back out into the drain. And what's going to happen here is my hot wort is going to travel from the brew kettle through this temporary tubing and go through a 3 8 copper tubing that has been set inside the 5 8 hose going in the opposite direction. So my hope is that with the, um, with the counter flow, the water is going to absorb a lot of heat much, uh, much more readily than one of the standard immersion chillers. So I'm going to give this a try here in a few minutes. I'm just waiting for my kettle to get up to boiling. We're pretty close there, just over 200 degrees. And I'll continue the video then. Alright, so the water has uh, started boiling. I'm just going to use my thermometer here to make sure that we've got about 210. Sorry about the steam. Got about 210. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is simulate the flame out, turning off the propane. Alright, so the flame is out. I have the hose water running through the immersion chiller right now. And so I'm going to try and use gravity here to move my hot wart through the tube. And I probably should have put a clamp down there. You know what, I'm going to stop this and put a clamp on one second. Okay, so I put a clamp on, I'm going to start the gravity feed again. You can see that my kettle's thermometer is still about 210 degrees. See the water flowing through. And what I'm going to do here is try and capture the temperature of the water that's flowing out just with gravity. Sorry, I try to balance my phone and the thermometer at the same time. So, if I trust my thermometer, we're looking at uh, 210 degrees coming into the coil. Uh, the groundwater is pretty cold, it's about 44-ish degrees, I could actually measure that in a second. Um, but we're holding at a 53 degree Fahrenheit output, uh, just with the gravity feed. So this is a pretty slow, uh, yeah, sure enough, there's my hand. Come going through the coil, one pass, just using gravity. Uh, I could measure this. What I would normally do is I would use a pump. Uh, so probably would be a good idea to put a uh, compression fitting and a ball valve here so that I can use my pump to, uh, to move this wart. Let's see here if I can still test the temperature of the pipe. No, it's, uh, it's not gonna work for me here. All right, so um, does the counterflow chiller work? Uh, yeah, it's got a, a, a decent rate. I could probably move this right into uh, one of my carboys or uh, my induction cone fermenter. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the results overall. All right, thanks.